guys, and welcome to another Pokey MMO help thing. So you might be asking yourself, why is King sitting in the global trade link on Pokey MMO, and why is it the item listing? So today I'm gonna go over some end game style money making methods, and I say end game because I know one of the first things that are gonna be asked is there any good method for early game money making that you could use unfortunately i don't know of any if you know in the comments below let me know and i will likely pin some comments pin a comment if it has really good uh interesting facts but this is super end game i might not even succeed in the full thing i'm not gonna go for the whole uh path that i would choose and this is end game kanto region right now i'm not in kanto region i'm gonna fly not fly there sail there but um i i i want to say end game kanto for just the big reason of the end game kanto so first and foremost is you're gonna need an amulet coin for this method uh, i've gone over the method before where you go into the uh where am i i don't even know where i am where you go into island four and excuse me i wanted to talk to you in the first place but i i've gone over plenty of times i'll i'll, I'll give a brief once over here no zitchy uh you have a you have a persian or something with payday that's really strong you come up over to island four and in island four you just go over towards the ice cave you can either do it in the water or in the cave itself i personally prefer the cave itself because you get higher levels but you know potato potato you just throw payday at them they take money oh god they died you pick up the money it's as simple as that <laughs> obviously the better your your persian or whatever you're using uh, the better it'll turn out. A lot of people have already said, Hey, your Persian could be better. I know. My Persian, I got this Persian and I wasn't looking to have super really good stats. I think I bought it at level 30 on the Poke Market. Yeah, there's the original trainer. And I, I think it. the only reason why I got it was it had payday. I wasn't looking at EVs, IVs, anything like that. But... I just sit right at the front here. I've shown it in some of my other guides, but I sit right in the front. Go, oh wow, dugong, wow, Persian, wow, and then you throw throw money at their face, bam, smacking them in the face, and then they die, and then you get money. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. It's my go-to method because I don't have to put out money prior to it. Well, I mean, I put out a little bit, but it, it's return has been significantly higher but in light of wanting different methods because there are different methods for that you're going to need an amulet coin as i said and the amulet coin is going to be very important and i i mentioned massively that you really 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 need to make sure that you're at end game my pokemon probably will not succeed 100 percent with this if you can have a full team of level 100 Pokemon, you're going to be able to do better. I would suggest at least level 80 on your Pokemon for this, but you're going to do trainer rebattles. And I suggest trainer rebattles as a lot of people do because of how much money you get. Uh, you go over where, where the, I, I don't, I, you can tell I never use this method. I don't even remember where my amulet coin is. Amulet coin. Is that it? There it is. So you use that and you have an hour of in-game playing time. That That's very important. It's in-game playing time. So if you log off and you come back, you can still utilize this. These gym re rebattles are always going to be a tag team battle. And they're always going to have six Pokemon. It's not going to be their normal Pokemon that they're going to have. And that's the very, very, very big thing is it is not gonna be your average Pokemon battle and you're not gonna have the stuff that you're expecting from the gym leaders. My Pidgeot just got absolutely destroyed right there, by the way. It's not very effective on Aerodactyl. 
well, thank you for doing error of that book. I'm, I'm so glad. Like I said, I'm probably not going to succeed. But if you do manage to succeed, you have Pokemon that are better than what I'm using. Because I don't have a team specifically tailored for this. If you do have a Pokemon that is tailored to do this and succeed a lot better, you're going to see a massive return on investment. So I spent about 20000 on an amulet coin. If you succeed in a battle, I want to say you get roughly about 15000 from one gym re-battle. We'll, we'll see. We'll, it, it, also, I get a lot of this question. How is my Pokemon looking so sexy? Well, I'll tell you. We the sexiness up in this mission, okay? And also, I I am using the mod where it's um, it's HD battle sprites. If you if you Google PokeMMO HD battle sprites, you'll find it. It's it's actually pretty easy to find, honestly. Oh, you didn't die. All right, yeah. So like I said, I'm probably gonna lose. I'm probably gonna fail. I probably should have brought out Persian, but I didn't because I'm a dumb. Uh, we're gonna hyper beam Slowbro because Slowbro has been the issue up until this point. My Charizard is a beast, by the way. Sometimes. Super effective. Well, that's not what you want. Sorry. Nine Tails is gone. Easy. We got two gone. We have the Slowbro still up front. Um, one thing to really, really note is Rampados. Okay, my uh, my Blastoise is still gonna do pretty good against you, I guess. Uh, no, 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 go back. Because you're only 80 power, you're 110 power, 110 power that. A full restore, ah, uh, well, you also gotta recharge. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose. Like I said, I, I do not have a team for this. But if you do manage to succeed, you get a ton of money. Um, you could probably even buy a team for this, honestly. Um, let's see. We'll hyper beam. We'll hyper beam Slowbro again, and we'll hydro pump Steelix. I probably won't get the hydro pump off. Ooh, I did. And sturdy, it barely hung on. Okay, that's okay, because we'll have Blastoise die. We'll get Persian out. Hopefully, Persian will be able to do something. Persian is level 97, after all. Let's see. Let's see how good my Persian truly is, shall we? Uh, we're going to do Payday on Steelix. Because you you would do Steelix, son of a butt. not very effective. I shouldn't have done Payday on Steel. Yeah, I, I, I almost definitely lost. Uh, night, night Slash on Slowbro. Super effective! And a critical hit. Goodbye, Slowbro. Iron Tail. That's gonna hurt. Ouch. Use a biggin. Heracross. Uh, you know what? We have a revive, I believe right HP and heals any status effect of Pokemon max revive we're gonna do a max revive on Charizard you got a lot of moxie up in that I'm doing Charizard because this Heracross is gonna prove to be a little bit of an issue by its life orb which will run okay um you are gonna do an inferno on heracross it would miss god son of a monkey ow that still hurt i might still lose No, we're good. Okay. Uh, max Potion on Charizard. I should have just done a Max Revive. I should have just done a Max Revive. 
Close combat hurts. Your your Heracross is essentially killing itself. Might need a max revive. I might need to just max revive somebody. Um, who could I do it to? You know what? Venusaur has gotten me out of so many, so many problematic spots. Let's see if Venusaur has got what it takes. I doubt it because Heracross isn't going to take any damage from Venusaur. But we're going to try. We're going to see if Venusaur has what it takes. Come on, Venusaur. Let's do this. This is my last revive. Pedal dance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get it on that Steelix. Take out Steelix first. Okay, never mind. I'll die. Right. So yeah, like I said, the battles are definitely very difficult. Um, and each time you go, so if you do lose... Oh, I'm here. Why am I here? If you do lose, every time you go and do a, a gym battle, or gym rebattle, let's just make it so I spawn here. They have different Pokemon every time. It's never the same, and it, it's actually really, really nice because you could lose one time, and then you could go in another time, and your team could absolutely wipe the floor with them. Yes, uh, Pewter, yeah, blah, 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 yes, blah, ha, ha. that's not how Brock talks in the show, but sure. Okay, well, he brought out the same Pokemon. Maybe they do have the same Pokemon every time. All right, um, let's see. You exert your pressure. I'm gonna break the mold. I'm gonna... Uh... We're gonna we're gonna do that on Slowbro. We're gonna try to take down Slowbro right off the bat. I don't think Pidgeot's gonna survive. I didn't think so. We're gonna see if we can take out Slowbro right off the bat. That didn't work. Okay. Well, this isn't exactly going well already. Um, let's bring out Venusaur and last choice again. I know. I'm doing the exact same thing as the last one. If I don't win, then I'll go to a different gym and see if I can beat it. But it's a, it's a very nice thing that you can actually... fight multiple times in this by the time you have to go and get another amulet coin activated so you have that ability to go but obviously if you do it faster or fast enough it's better but it's not required okay bye venusaur then uh let's bring out persian persian you're gonna night slash slow bro you are going to waterfall aerodactyl Man, that's it? A level 97. And, and you're level 77. Jesus. Muddy water. That shouldn't do really anything to Blastoise or Persian. Rampardose. Okay, so Blastoise is still doing really good. We'll just keep Night Slashing you and then we'll Hydro Pump the Rampardose. I foresee a, a full restore for Slowbro here soon. Shit. Well, that's not good. Heracross. Okay. Heracross works. Don't miss. Whatever you do, do not miss. Ice Beam, let's see if we can freeze you up. Yes! You didn't miss. That should take out Heracross. Or not. Ow. Not too bad. You're gonna die from your burns, so that's good. It's not very effective. Can we freeze you? No, didn't think so. 
Uh, that's not good. Oh, Charizard avoided it. Sweet. Hope is alive, my young people. Steelix. Okay, um... Hyper Beam, Slowbro, and you're gonna water... No, you're gonna Hydro Pump. Steelix. I saw that coming. I knew it was coming. He loves his Slowbro. Okay, you hung on with Sturdy, but only Steelix is attacking this time. Which is okay, because now I can do Waterfall on Steelix, and Charizard has to recharge. Take Steelix out of the game. Slowbro can't really do much damage to my Blastoise at this point. Charizard grew to level 82. Dodge it, Charizard. Char dodge it. Oh, he dodged it again. Yes. That is amazing. Okay, we're going to do... Um, another Hyper Beam on you and a Hydro Pump on Ninetales. Oh, so close. Oh, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Shit. That's not what you want. This is bad. This is, this is really bad. Oh, please dodge it. Nope, that's it. All right, hold on. Let me let me go beat somebody and and I'll be back. Okay, so I have not been having very much luck. I've been trying some different gyms, seeing if I can get lucky on one or the other, and uh, I've not been lucking out too too much. Um, I I decided to. I don't know why I went. I I know why I went here because there's a gym here. It's down here. Um. I, I said it at the very, very beginning. I don't even have cut on Jesus Christ. That uh, my team is by far not suited for uh, gym battles and gym re-battles and stuff like that. Um, so what I did instead was I went ahead... Uh, we're going to get rid of Razor Leaf. I know I can learn it back anytime. Um... I went ahead in in case I end up losing. I'm gonna I'm gonna have what I'm saying kind of going as well. Uh, you know what, Charizard, you were coming out first. I remember this. Um, the biggest thing with gym rebattles, you want to try to get them done efficiently. And I am nowhere near efficient. Nine tails and Venusaur. That is one hell of a combo. You literally counter the other. But you know, sure, whatever. We'll, we'll go. We'll go with that. Um, you're just gonna thrash, and you are gonna do a heat wave on Venusaur. For gym rebattles, while this is kind of going on in the background, of course you insta kill Charizard. The one freaking. Pokemon, I didn't want insta kill, you insta kill. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm fairly certain I'm not gonna win this gym in battle. Anyway, so for the Kanto region gyms, if you go through and play through all of the Kanto region gyms, uh you know what? Just uh no. No hydro pump nine tails. If, if you go through and you do all of them, for Brock, the one that I showed originally, in Pewter City, you get 10,790. For Cerulean City, for Misty, you get 10,920. For Vermilion City, you get 11,050. Uh, for Celadon City, you get 11,180. Um, for Fuchsia City, you get 11,310. For Saffron City, you get 11,440. And for Cinnabar Island, Cinnabar Island, you get 11,570. That is Pokeyen. That's how much you get. 
Um, they they vary here and there, um, and that's with the amulet coin. So having the amulet coin is 100% recommended. And uh, I also went ahead and checked out because I know people are going to want this. I went ahead and I checked out what kind of Pokemon you would kind of want for the gym rebattles. And uh, so for this guy that I am specifically looking at here, it says Typhlosion with 252 special attack 6 hp and 252 uh what? what okay see this is why i make my own guides hold on uh just just show me this speed is that speed yeah i think it wants speed but uh it so a really good typhlosion in other words a really good uh, Torkoal, so not from first gen, which is where my biggest issue is because I only have good first gen Pokemon. Um, a Braviary, which I'm not quite sure what a Braviary is. I've never heard of it. Um, a Archaeops, which again, I have no idea what it is. A Flygon, which... I still don't know what it is. And a Kingdra. Wait a minute. Typhlosion, Torkoal, Braviary. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. See, this is why I make my own guides. I trying to follow some of the stuff that they have is insanity. Braviary, or uh, Archaeops. Then a Flygon, then a Kingdra, then a Van Vanilux, or whatever it is. And you're supposed to essentially be able to have them all level 100 and all this other stuff. And it's really great and woohoo, good. You know, but who has that? So instead of doing gym rebattles, this is the other thing that I do. I'll go to the other islands. Uh, I don't think Island 4 like island five here and i'll go through and i'll do the rebattles in this area put persian up front because i'll i will throw payday at pokemon and do the rebattles and it's usually pretty good it's not the best in the world and it's by far no means good enough in regards to like amulet coin but for your daily rebattles a good route would be to go through the islands oh my god are we really gonna start this game i just want to get up to the little people up at the top i'm not even gonna throw to payday i just want to stop just stop i want to get up here these guys i'm not even gonna do a full route these guys up here along the island routes that you end up having to go and fight and see anyway while you're doing the islands quest you come through here because smear goals are really really easy you get a payday you one shot ko them you know all that good stuff you don't have to worry about it and they pay out pretty decently um i want to say most of them pay out roughly the same i think i took out her strongest right off the bat and i didn't mean to I wasn't paying attention. I meant to do payday, but I ended up doing night slash. There we go. We'll do the 44. We get 40, 440 instead of uh, 460. But you just come through here. You you do these guys. It's real quick, real easy, and it it takes very little time. Uh, you you can see the amulet coin is is going and it took about two minutes for that battle it took more time getting to the battle than it did doing the battle and you, you get a you get a nice little chunk of change not a lot but a nice little bit and you just you just go and rebattle these guys there's a uh, island three I believe as well that has a lot of people that you can rebattle in it 
Um, and you just go through there. It's a route that I would much rather take because I know that my Pokemon don't have to be the top of the line. I spent 300,000 Poke Yen on the global trade link or hundreds of thousands to make a perfect Pokemon of that caliber. Whatever, I can just go through and I can one shot these guys and I don't have to have the best Pokemon in the world. That is what I personally suggest you do. Um, now, obviously, if you want to go through and do the Pokemon Gym rebattles, go for it. Wow, I didn't one hit KO. That's I feel very sad about this. Everybody, shame me and shame me in the comments. Shame me, and I hurt myself in my confusion. Everybody, shame me as much as you can. Just we're at the end of the video. Shame me. Shame it. I'm this shame. Write shame on my forehead and keep it there. Now take it away. And now I'm out of confusion. Now I'll finally kill it. <laughs> it's the last battle that I'm going to do for the, uh, the, the episode anyway. The video. We're level 98. But yeah. You, you, you guys kind of saw the difference. It's night and day. Now granted. Like I said. You are not going to... You're not going to have a very good time trying to get money. Rebattling is going to be your best bet. Or, like I said, I mean, I got about 5k there. It's almost worth it to just come over to here and throw money for a little bit. You can do it on the side. You know, you can kind of half pay attention to it. You can have it on your phone and be sitting there going back and forth and do it with, like, one hand while you're doing something else. But doing the gym rebattles... I don't suggest it. You can't redo uh, Viridian City Rebattle anyway. And then all these other gyms. It, it's just. I'm not a, I'm not a very big fan of them. Personally. I, I feel like. I feel like. Yeah. I can see why they're so difficult and everything. And I understand that. And I, I accept that. But. I personally don't like it. I, I don't want to have to have my Pokemon perfectly trained up or have to go buy these Pokemon. Because if you really think about it, whenever it boils down to it, what are you looking for in PokeMMO? You want to get money so that you can get good Pokemon or you can breed good Pokemon. So you shouldn't have to have the best Pokemon to make money in the first place. So that's why I highly, highly suggest the payday just throw money at at Pokemon's faces. We're 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 gonna we're gonna try this. And once I'm done talking, we'll have a speed up. And if I win, I win. If not, oh well. This is the only island that I didn't try. But uh, yeah. You wow, I got messed up. That did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. But yeah, you you just you you do the, you you do what you can, and I don't want to have to be at end game to make money. And I know you guys, when looking at guides and everything else, you're not at end game. So I'm not. I don't want you guys to feel like the only way you can succeed is by going to end game status. So. All right, let's see if I can beat this. Probably not, but we're going to try. Let's see. I knew it. I, I knew it wasn't as soon as this blast toy side. See, and that's again what I was talking about. You gotta have such high-end good Pokemon. And if you if you go and you look and you're like, okay, well, that's not the global trade link. 
So people, people's guides out there saying, uh, l let's just go for example, a Typhlosion. A Typhlosion. 150,000 Poke Yen for a level 100. Okay. It's EVs are garbage. It's E uh, or it's EVs are good. It's IVs are garbage. Okay. So what about this other 150,000 one? Good EVs, not the best. Garbage IVs, once again. So, I mean, like, the these guys out there are suggesting that you have to have the best of the best. Like, this one's at least halfway decent, but you still have very garbage other stats. And then... Go with this. It's good, and that's good, but it's 250,000 Poke Yen, you know, and so I highly, highly suggest regular trainer rebattles. Your, your Poke Yen per hour is going to change drastically. And granted, yeah, if you can start getting those teams to be able to do these rebattles, that's one thing. But I mean, even for even for a Kingdra. Now these guys are saying I, I do that every time. These guys are saying a Kingdra. All right, that is level one hundred, and it needs to have no no specific IVs done. So that's at least nice. So we're going to search. Let's go with uh, lowest price. EVs are all over the board. IVs are hot garbage. Good. You have good speed, but you want special attack and not regular attack on that. So that's garbage. Got good defense, but defense isn't a good statistic on a Kingdra. It's got good defense and special attack, but again, you want speed in special attack. Special attack, good. Speed, good. Special attack, good. Speed, okay. And this one was... Which one? This one? 150,000. It's, it's just not viable. It's it's not a viable method to go for the rebattle. Re so I highly, 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 highly suggest you go do the island free battles in Kanto region. You go into the Cerulean Cave or the Island 4 Blizzard Cave and you just do Payday. It's going to be a lot slower, but until you can start making your own Pokemon or buying Pokemon, the gym rebattles is just not something that's viable. You could essentially try to train your own via training methods but the problem with that is for for example a lot of these guys are suggesting like typhlosion or torkoal or these pokemon that you would normally be able to find like i know cyndaquil is a very difficult pokemon to find in the wild let alone find in the wild with three different ivs hp sp attack and speed so you would have to breed it and trying to find a female Cyndaquil is going to be damn near impossible as well. So just, just, just in all honesty, don't worry about rebattles. All right. I am probably one of the only people who makes guides for this game in any sense who says don't do gym re battles not in the early and mid game you have to have a team of all level 100s with good evs and ivs your basic team is not gonna cut it and it's gonna take you quite a bit to probably get there so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys found this video to be informative in nature in any way um let me know what you thought down in the comments below let me know if you know better ways to make money especially for early game players down in the comments below as well and uh leave a like if you liked it 
and uh you know go out do something nice for somebody today and i will see all of you guys next time bye guys